Today, space has grown tremendously from something which is just for the big boys and something which is largely research and development and experimental into something very commercial with a lot of opportunity as well as something which many new players can take part in. To my esteemed colleagues in this niche fraternity, I cannot emphasize enough on the timeliness of all your active investments in the Asia space development. Space innovation has also ignited a growing trend of young technopreneurs, many establishing roots in Singapore and rapidly expanding into the vibrant Asia-Pacific market. Space innovation is accelerating our startup ecosystem and this will be enhanced through dedicated advanced incubation efforts that we are primed to launch. So our Mars mission, which I mentioned a little bit earlier, is an orbiter. It's called the Hope Probe and will launch this July um, and hopefully reach the Martian orbit by 2021. And it's basically a, a kind of a weather satellite in a sense, uh, trying to take measurements of the Martian atmosphere and answer some unanswered questions of the past. Now in 2020, we show that probably at the end of this decade, we will have uh, more than 1,000 launches. And um, uh, obviously also navigation satellites, uh, end use demand is expected to grow, in particular in this area here in the Asia Pacific uh, region.